Andy Dalton was fantastic. The Bengals' defense opportunistic, but it was Giovanni Bernard who took this game over down the stretch, looking like the starting running back he was for this team not too long ago. Jeremy Hill fumbled for the second time midway through the third quarter and didn't see another snap the rest of the game, and that set the stage for Bernard, who rushed for 85 of his 123 yards the rest of the way. I mean, I wouldn't put myself back in that situation. I mean, a guy turned the ball over twice, hurting the football team, but, you know, you lose football games like that, especially in this league with that quarterback. So, you know, you can't do that. So, I mean, I can't be mad at anybody but myself. Well, yeah, a little combination of both. Gio's carrying the ball, but uh, we can't, you know, we can't have a back fumbling the football either. And Jeremy's a talented young player, and he's got to, you know, we got to keep the football. It's not wasn't part of his deal last year, and we can't let it creep in. Gio's always ready to go, and Gio... Um, you know, he's so electric with the ball, and um, you never know what's going to happen when he's got it. And so um, he stepped up and played re real big today. While this wasn't a playoff game like the one two years ago, the Bengals admitted they felt they owed the Chargers something for that embarrassing wild card loss. This small bit of revenge has Cincinnati 2-0 and still atop the AFC North. At Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, I'm Eric Elkin, Fox45Now.com.